Okay. In the case, under loop states, you have two and two. I am and and not able to see your screen actually. Your screen. Are, are, you the screen? are you sharing the screen? Yeah, I am sharing the screen. I am sharing the screen. Yeah, uh, it's all blank actually. All I am not able to see Can you see now? Okay, now since we have seen the zig fender, let's, I have to show you one more parameters. Let's take a parameter of type character. Okay. Now in this, I'm giving a letter A. If I give letter A, I should write Ali. Else right and it's activated okay. okay so now when i execute i i am giving a so obviously the answer should be valid it's giving me in value what happened here because see this is a very useful property of parameters Parameters by default will convert all lower case to upper case. Can you see? Okay. Basically, okay. if the input, it's not because that there was a wrong selection, it was because it was an invalid out input. And so to how do I uh, rectify this error? Either for everything I have to add in both the cases, A or capital A, like that. Or just tell do not use the default property. Just take what I have written. So for that, there is an additional keyword called lower case. Okay, what does this do? Whatever case you give, it will just read like that. Oh, okay. Exactly. Oh, okay. okay. Now you are giving A means what? It will read and it will say only. And if you give capital well, A, it will read capital A. Now, one more thing. Now, if I forgot to give some data. See, this is because I, I forgot. Let's say you have so many inputs, you forgot. So basically, what you should not get any output, correct? You should not get any output. Yes. But what is the format and I execute is giving me invalid. Actually, it's a wrong scenario here because I forgot to give something. It gave it's that means it is taking space also other than A. So to avoid yes. such conditions where you tell, you might have seen a lot because you use a lot of standard screens to tell that you have to specifically enter value or give mandatory values you have to write additional parameter you have seen tick marks many times in input fields because of this obligate if you do it as obligatory what happens is if you don't write anything Can you see this error? Have oh, you seen this okay. in many standard yes. screen? Yes, that yes. is because they yes. have handled this obligatory condition. Okay, that is to tell that you have to mandatorily enter the data. So these are the two beautiful additions of parameter, either the lower case. So always write lower case whenever you are using so that you don't have a problem while entering the input. Okay. So obligatory you give a capital. And if you give a capital A, what will It will retain capital A only. See, whatever case you give, it will give. But it is saying invalid, right? Yeah, because is I... Is it not valid? It's not small. It's, if it's only small A, it is valid. I give okay. capital A. Okay. 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 Right here. 
have changed the code. Okay. So I'm just Got it. so this is not with if now coming to case and case. So case and cases when one variable is taking multiple values. So the difference between if and cases. Is if is what where you can handle conditions and you can have more than one variable okay but in case and case it's only variable and there's no condition check so okay. can I all if statements in can i convert into a case yes no no let's say if i'm writing if a greater than b how will i convert it into case you can't handle condition but can I handle all the case statements into if? Yes, you can handle it. Got okay. it? So yes. Case will only use one variable when it is taking multiple values. The so case is on the variable when value 1 something, when value 2 something, and when the last one will be when others end in case. Okay, now in our scenario, let's say now I have two way input variables n1 and n2 and a variable operator. So in this operator, if I give plus, I want to add these two numbers and give the sum result. And in the operator, if I give into, I want to multiply and give the product. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Now, how many variables are needed? First of all, whenever you write a program, you decide on the number of variables. So how many variables? Can you guess how many variables? How many do you think you need? Oh, you are asking me? Uh, two variables. <laughs> two variables. Only two? Yes. Two variables. Two variables. We we have two variables already. Uh -huh. So totally how many in this program, how many declarations you should give? Data or parameter? How many declarations? Uh, no idea. Ah, <laughs> uh, see that is what you may this See, you are not from a programming background, no? Or it was yeah. other person. Okay, no, so that's the reason. Yeah, so that's the real uh, reason why. So now in this, tell me how many variables should I give as an input? Just see. See, if I write, I'll write it in five minutes. Then there's no point in you learning anything. So that's the reason I keep asking. You can just okay. give errors. How and many values? Parameters so you parameters. give input n1, n2, two and inputs, yeah. and one for operator also, whether you want to add it or multiply it, correct? And how many outputs okay. come? Result. One. One. Only result will come as an output. So inputs, how yeah. do you declare using parameters? So for outputs, do I need to declare? Yes, because you are using it in your program. So you use data for result. Are you getting it? Yes. Okay. Parameters for your other variable so that you can input. Now you got an idea how do you decide on declarations into type Y and operator. It's just a character, so take it as type C. Okay. So, so the we are case not giving the length of the character. Length of the character yeah. No, because it's only plus so it's one character, no? By default it will take one only. Okay. 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 So now the case is written on which variable? Uh, ah. See the case uh, syntax. Case is written on a variable which will take multiple values. Okay. Uh, so case is operator. 
because it will take multiple values no and it will take n1 when n1 no 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 not when n1 when plus when you okay. give plus you want to sum it are you confused or are you getting it right result now are you able to understand so when it is taking yeah. into so it is taking multiple values so when it is taking multiple values what should happen i am writing other than these if it takes when others just write down value here value oh okay okay now you got a yeah. basic picture now whenever you are getting just understand how many inputs and how many outputs based on that you can declare it okay then just write the logic when one variable is taking multiple values so n1 and n2 will take multiple values that is our choice but based on that you can't write any condition so that's the reason i'm writing the case on operator okay, okay. there is an error no i just copied it not twice nah. now if you give anything other than plus So can I convert this program using if statement? Do you think I can write the same program using if? If uh, no, 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 no. You can write. How will you write? Write if so we are if yes, so and so, else if. Else if O P R is equal to into something, then the last would be else. That's it. So that is the reason I told all case things can be converted to if, but can I convert all if into case? Vice versa, not possible. Okay. Vice versa, if possible, if if is also taking one variable. If it imagine if if you handle like this, if A. Greater than B. How will I write it in case? Impossible. Okay, there is no condition check in case statement. Fine. It is very clearly there in the syntax. There is no condition check. It is not possible. Okay, clear with if okay. and the else. The most used the statements. If you see an ABAP program, you see a lot of if statements. Okay. Do and do. I just tell you what it is. Do and times. It's of no use basically. It's we don't use it at all. It is 
just printing the same thing again and again. Do you know the use of slash? The slash thing. Slash, here. yeah. Slash is you can is you can write multiple times multiple times using comma using comma. Ah, that is colon. That is colon. Can you see? I wrote a colon and a slash also. Yesterday I told you about slash and what does it do? See now, suppose. See, it is just print the same thing again, again, again. Now, if I remove slash, what happens? Is understood? Oh, okay. It is, yeah. It is used to yeah. go to the next line. Okay. okay. So what happens? Even if see write, I don't need a colon here because I'm using only write. But it's a common practice. We just put this even needed or not needed. Colon slash okay. we keep right. You don't you want it to be printed in a single line. Okay, slash means a new line. Now my my two also will not as I told you it is fixed. It will not check for any condition. But while will check for a condition. So while condition and while. So till the condition fails, it will print. Now suppose I want to. Print from 10 to 1 in the reverse order. Okay, 10 to 1. Let's say first, what should I print? I need 10. So I'll declare a variable and one type i. So since it should print a 10 and directly give value. So as I told you, by default value you want to give type value. If it is for parameter, this will be default. Okay. Now, so you want to print n1 till when? Till one. it is 1 or equal to 1. Right? So, see here always remember this gaps are important. Okay. In other languages, okay. it was not made. Space is important. So, till when it reaches 1, what you want to do? You want to print that n1. So in the next loop, what happens? It should decrement. It should become 9. So what I will do, n1 in n1, I will put n1 minus 1. Are you getting n1? Okay. Here, yeah? so 9 will come. It will reach n1. It will go. Is 9 greater than 1? Yes, it will print 9. Again, it will become 8 like that. It will print till it becomes 0. See this while also we don't use much. I just wanted to show you the syntax of u and y. Okay. The only thing that we use, and you might have seen it a lot, is your loop and loop. You have idea why yeah. we use loop? Why do we use loop? And loop. <coughs> loop is to loop is to create a other code inside it. Create another code or uh, to display the data. See, uh, let's say you're fetching the data. Select so star from, let's say, set into some internal table. Okay. Putting the details into, let's say now you have 100 records in this internal table. Correct? Now, okay. how do I fetch it? How do I display now? I have to create a report now. So what I will loop this internal table and write the records like Belnar, whatever, and end it. So I'll just uh, layman explanation I'm giving because you have to learn a lot of things to know a loop and loop, okay? So just understand this. I can't show it to you now because you have to learn a select statement. You have to learn what is internal table. So many things are there. So we will learn it after a few classes. So just understand okay. what is loop. So this loop will run now how many times? 100 times. So in each okay. loop, it trigger it. 
like it will trigger multiple text messages. Suppose you want a report, basic. I have done in another class. See this now. I'm fetching few fields, okay, from a table. Data. And I have fetched the data into this internal table. Okay, it's a select statement, and you see this loop. I'm writing the records fields field by field. I am printing it so that I execute from 23 to 60. Reprint. So this is used. This printing is done using loop and loop. Okay, so each. So, uh, yeah. So what exactly this loop does actually? It will it will read a specific set of data so from the internal all table. All your records are there in this internal table, correct? All that five records was there in this internal table. So what is this loop okay. doing? It is trying to extract it from the internal table and using the write statement display. It is used for displaying. Since it has multiple records, I'm using a loop so that each loop. So first loop. One record will be written. Again, it will reach end loop. In the second loop, the second record will be written. Understood? So it is just so to extract. It, it will it will display unique records. Is what you say? Yeah, it will display not unique records. All the records that are there in this internet. No, can't we directly go for display uh, instead of bringing them into the inner table? Then writing a loop. Uh, why it is because see, that is the reason I told you you need to learn to many more things. So just uh, try to understand. See, internal table is a dynamic concept. It is created. It ends when the program ends. Correct. So it needs a static component to point itself. For that you need a va variable called work area. So all the records first you have to put it into something known as work area, which acts as an interface. So from this you are displaying the data. So that is the reason I told you need a lot of explanation to understand loop and loop. Just try to understand what does it do. Later on in detail we will learn what it is. Okay. So loop and loop okay. is basically for displaying, extracting and displaying. That's it. That is the two things that you can learn in loop. Mm -hmm. Clear? Okay. So we will learn in detail what is internal table and why we are using a work area and all that stuff. So that's the reason I am not going into detail things. So this was your loop and loop. Okay. So clear with the control statements. One was making decisions, and the other one was used to create a loop in loop conditions. Okay. So where one uh, thing is executed again and again. See the same statement is executed again and again. So that's the reason it is not a decision statement but a loop statement. Okay. So this okay. is your clear. So control statement there. Decision control and loop control, in which you have various syntaxes or keywords. Okay. Now, okay. then something known as system variables. Okay. You have have you seen anything that starts with psi hyphen? Yeah, psi psi uh, hyphen is like it will tell whether whether it is zero is uh, okay good. Eight is error. Yeah, uh, four is something else. Yeah, Sai Sabar yeah. Sai something. Sai Sabar C is the most used one, and you are correct to see just the what it is. So basically, <coughs> let's understand what a system variable. Now, system variables are predefined variables, okay, which has data in it. Okay, so now you just have to use to give data. So Sai data. If you use Sai data, it will give you the current page. I use it. Time. Sai you name will give you the name. So many are there. Sai you line will give you horizontal line. Sai V line will give you vertical line. So how do I get all this? Now I'm telling it will give, it will give. How do I use it in the program? How do we think I'll print the date? You need so you to use it at a particular places where if you simply write side item, will it give date? No. With what we should use? Write statement. 
right yes. okay okay only size of us is one thing which don't need a guide okay that is used for another purpose okay some problem with the Okay, let it come back. Now, the most used one is size of RC. So, what does size of RC give you? To tell perfectly zero and four, correct. It will give you the status of the previously executed statement. Oh uh, yes, yes. Yes, correct only. No. So, if you are writing, yeah. I am writing flex star from employee where. Employee number is ten. So now you are stuck. You don't know what to do further. So you know, should know the status, no? Whether that employee is there or not. It is there. You print the record. So how do you find the size of RC is zero? I will print the records. Else I will write no records. Okay. So if it is success, it will give you a zero. If it is a failure, it will give you a four. So that's the reason size of RC. will give you the status of the previously executed statement rather than select it is mostly used mandatory requirement is when you use a read statement you might have seen it using read after a read state you have to immediately write size of rc this is mandatory why and all we will see later on the reason i told Okay, just understand. After read statement, then we should have. After read statement, it is compulsory that you have to use write. Such size of us. Okay. Okay. So that is the reason. Otherwise, we give you unimaginable reasons, which is not there also. Okay. So that is what. Let's. seen classical reports right yes yeah. in which they can you have seen the outputs as uh, in the form of tables and all in the form yes. of tables and columns so how do you achieve those by using this system variables only okay you use the system variables to achieve those now basically let me just uh, get that Now it says waiting to view trainer screen. No, no, I just uh, I'm just uh, wait. I just uh, sharing one second. Now see this. See this scenario, this table like thing. Can you see this thing? Date, no, time. No, the screen did not come in. No, it is sharing only, no? Oh. Can you see now? Can I see? I tried no. it. I think I need to log in again, maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it is waiting to view the screen. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah got it. it. So, see this. You might have seen such things. Can you see this horizontal and vertical line? So how do you okay. achieve outputs? So that is what we will try now. Okay, using uh, system variables, we can try create tables, which you see in outputs and all. How do we achieve it? By using the system variables. So now, Now, 
Okay, this is my requirement. Okay. Now, can you tell me? Just try. Okay. Can you tell me like how can we achieve this thing? First word. Uh, right. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. First word. Right is correct. Yeah, the first will give yeah, data types. What, where you want, which fields you want to give for data type? See, one more thing. As I told you, you need declarations. It's not necessary that every program needs declarations. Okay. Now in this, do you think we need declaration for any of these because they are all system variables? I want to get okay. to the data. Huh? So no need of any variables. It directly gives okay. right uh, data, it will give you the date. And this is hard coded. This date time user is hard coded. So, no need of, unless you are specifically asked not to hard code and put it in a variable, then you can do the declaration thing. Otherwise, you can directly put it in the output. Now, what now? Okay. Next. No need of declaration. So, next. Right? First, what you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Next, what? After right. Right. Uh, First, what is there to be printed in this thing? First, what is there to be printed? First, username. This horizontal line. We are trying to okay. create a table. No, see, can you see this? Line is first. Then there is a vertical okay. line. Then there is a date. Okay. Then vertical line. Achieve the first row. Then next, then again come and achieve the second row. Clear? How you go about? Okay. So okay. First thing. Is it very confusing for you are able to understand me? No, actually, I'm, I'm, this is the first time I am doing this kind of thing. So. Yeah, so I'm that's the reason I'm going very slow. Sometimes I am doubting whether you are able to understand me. <laughs> No, 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 no. This is the best class basically because I've attended a couple of others. They were like, normally they went, but everything went out of my head. Here at least I'm yeah. able to connect. Yeah, so first thing is your horizontal line. So just simply write the horizontal line. Okay, one important thing is the horizontal line you can restrict like how many columns you want to draw. Vertical line is not. A single line. You have to write again vertical, vertical to create a very big line. Okay. Now next, the vertical line is on the next line. So I put a slash. Line, line. Okay. Okay. Now do I need a slash? No need because I have to put it in the same line, no, same row. So date is after some gap. So I give positions. I can give positions like this. Tell from fifth line, right? Print the date. Okay, so fifth line, fifth column, it will print the date. Now, next, where is the vertical column? Where do you think I have to keep the vertical? What, what is that? Five? Fifth line. Five is the fifth position. See now, let me show you. Fifth column or the position. But is it not in the first column? First, column? first, if you don't give anything, it is the first column. So V line, is the first column. See, V line will come in the first column. See here. Can you see? This is first step. Okay. Two, four, five. From the fifth position, date. See, it's not you. It's just imaginary positions. Okay. You can just okay, uh, okay. just okay, got it. It's not any like on top. There's no scale or anything. It is just an if you don't give anything, it is first column. Okay. Okay. Now, now the next vertical line is after something. Obviously, date needs ten characters, right? To have a complete date, just give some fifteen or something so that you'll have a gap also. So at fifteen, you have a vertical line. So I write. Uh, I hope you are understanding why I'm not writing slash. Yes. No. Because because the, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So after 15, give some space and give time. So let's take at 18 or something. Then give time. Then give the user after. Let's take that. Sign. So if it is 
which is stays uh, space then we need to calculate from beginning yeah so how calculate see now i am just uh, blindly giving something real time you have to go to the table calculate the length from there for the fields correct are you getting it what i told you understood okay. yeah I told you go to the fields, calculate its length, then give correctly. Here I'm just giving a guess. That's it. Okay. Now user, I have to give user at that. So where will be your last? Where will be your last vertical line? Maybe fifty. Not maybe. Where your U line ends? No, it is joining the horizontal line. Can you see? Then only it will form yes. a table. So where is your? It is ending at hundred. So obviously your V line will be at hundred. Are you getting it? Yeah. Now in the next line again, I have to draw in the next line a side line to get the complete. Close it. Close it, right? Then only it will close. No? So you see, activate. See, now you got an idea. Yes. So now second row will be what? Same thing again. Don't have to. row will be the same picture again instead of what you will do here a comma and instead of date what you will do side date i hope you are getting it side date side visit side user yeah. Mm -hmm. And it. So you can just remove this. I'm a little bit of blue there. Correct. Now let's. Copy paste if you do it properly. Now understood how you create tables in your report outputs using certain tools. Clear? Okay. Okay. So let's continue tomorrow with uh, there's one okay. more one or two weeks left with the uh, basics then. I give you two exercises. You have the server; you can just practice it. It has the complete okay. uh, that I have taught you. Then we will move to data dictionary. I hope okay. you are getting the. Yes, 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 yes. I just need to practice one. Yeah, just go through the recording again. Just practice it. I tomorrow I will give you, or else if you want, uh, just give me a mail ID. I will give you that sh assignment sheet. Just go through it. Can you just tell me a okay. mail? Calvin C A L V I N Calvin Kumar K U M A R 99 at gmail dot com. Okay, I'll just send you a sheet, uh, exercise sheet. Just go through it. If you are able to do it, just do it. Okay. Any sure. doubts or okay. tomorrow I'll explain you what. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow same time. Yeah.